what's up guys welcome back to another video so this is the one you guys have all been waiting for please excuse my hair I got caught in the rain in town so it's gone literally wonky Um, I'm just gonna get started at this because I do have a lot of stuff to get to so yeah hold on guys I'm just doing this so my hair literally isn't annoying me. Okay. So the first thing I went into was Pound Van because as you guys know I wanted to do a video on that. Um so I'm just gonna show you everything I got. It may not be in order but I'm gonna try. Okay, so I got a lot of, not a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, but I got a decent amount for a video I want to do, so. Now, I got this little, first thing I picked up was this makeup bag, which is the size that you're seeing for a pound, and I thought I could keep all the pound van stuff in it. So once I've done the video and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to open it there so I can put stuff in it. Um, hold on guys. Um, so if I remember correctly, I couldn't find a face primer in Poundland. They virtually didn't have much stuff. So I just went for obviously the first thing. So I got this. This is called Gorgeous Makeup Gallery Gorgeous Flawless Long Lasting Foundation with UVA slash UVB filters. Now mine is in cool porcelain because all the other colours were literally so dark. So I, wow this is very liquidy I don't know if you guys can hear that. You really, you really have to shake that anyway. Great. Um, so, natural long lasting foundation with a flawless matte finish enriched with vitamin E, UVA, slash UVB filters for added protection. So, for a pound, I think it's very good. But it's very runny, so, you know. Next thing I got was they didn't have like concealer like liquid form. They only had sticks so I got one in ivory. Now I have had these before and I can't remember if I liked them or not so this is a new and I got toffee four and ivory one because I wanted a little bit of a darker one just to see if it would sort of build up my spots. So that's two. Then I got <coughs> a pressed powder which I really want to actually check out. Um, There is a lot of stuff. We're not even halfway through guys. So I'll grab a cup of tea. I hate trying to open stuff with my teeth. I probably should have got scissors, but oh well. Ow. Okay. So this is Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Press Powder. How the hell do you... Oh, there we go. Right. Wow, that's actually quite, you know, good considering. You can see it. So I'm hoping it goes on quite well. There's quite a lot of fallout from... Like the little pan I would imagine, but for a pound you can't really grumble. Um, then I got a matte bronzer, which I, I do want to see this. I really do want to see this. I saw it at this in the shop and I thought, oh my god, that's such a nice colour. Um, this is Makeup Girl. Girl a little bit. Pardon me. Makeup Gal Makeup Gallery 
Good to go, Matt Bronzer. I'm hoping this is good because, wow, it's like very matte, like very. Ooh. If it goes on not looking so orange, I could work with that. Then I got this blusher, which now, um, wasn't so bad. I was like 18 pound or something. Um, wow, I actually quite like how that looks, but whether it comes up to standards, yeah, you can't even, well, you can see it there. But I think it's nice because it's just a natural blush and it's called Feeling Blush Blusher. Um, it's soft one. You do get other colours. You get ones that are very dark. Like, not dark, but a bit like MAC Breezy. Um, then there was an eye primer, which I was quite really shocked at because they didn't have a normal primer there in stock. So I, I sort of thought, what? But the woman said this is a very popular product. So we're just going to have a look. I hate using my teeth. Now my bin isn't here, so every th all the rubbish is sort of just on the floor and on my unit. Okay. Uh, very oily. A little bit tacky, so it could work. Could work. Uh, what else did I get? I got mascara. Yeah. Uh, it is Makeup Gallery, Turn Up the Volume and Define Mascara. I had no option with that because there was only that. So, this is a brow product. I do not know if you guys can see that. It's a L'Oreal Paris product for a pound. I was really shocked. Um... I thought L'Oreal Paris, maybe they just bought it in and then they're going to try and sort of make their money back. But no. L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Sculpt. Now I don't think this is my colour. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, no, this isn't going to be my colour I don't think. And this scares me. You can sort of flick that through your lashes, I suppose. Okay, I could work with that. Um, okay, so this is the sort of colour it is here. Then for eyeshadow, I got this little quad thing. And actually, when I was in town, someone recognised me and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Actually, it was a random young girl came running up to me. She said, oh my god, you're made out you And I was like, whoa. It was, just, it was weird, but it was such a nice feeling. She was so nice. Um, so, yeah. So, this is like the little quad thing you get. Like... You choose a light brown, a little bit darker black, and then a shimmer. Just test these shimmers out. Ooh, wow! For a pound. Ooh. But it's different when they go onto your eyes. That's the only. Ooh. I wouldn't really, I don't think I'll be using the black so much, but they are very good for a pound. I'm literally just wiping it on my old sheet. I'm just like changing my bed again. 
So then I got a cream highlighter. I do oh you yeah, guys can't really it they didn't have a powder one so I was like I have to bite the bullet and just grab a cream. Now this is quite a highly asked video people DM me for, like pound glam makeup. Um ow. Wow, it's very slidey. But it has good pigmentation for a pound. My idea is I could build that up. Yeah, look at that. Woo, I like it. So then we have um, natural uh, naked brown three in a lip gloss, lipstick. Um, so let's have a look. Ooh, I like it. Blech. Ooh, it's got pigmentation to it for a lippy. And it slides on so nicely and you can even just tap that on. Look at that. Cool, you can work with that. So that is all like the makeup products. No, it's not. I got a eyeliner, a black eyeliner. I got my mum one, and I didn't notice my bag was burst, and hers sort of fell out. So this is for my mum once I'm finished. So I got a blending sponge. This is cheek the cheek, cheek to cheek. But I'm thinking, I don't know what to use it for because I also got a foundation brush. Ooh. It's got a foundation brush. So got an angled blush brush, but I'd use that for contour. Then I got this cool little trio pack here, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use. Straight to the brushes, but if it's open let's have a look yeah just like a brush oh god I don't think it would blend very much and that's the bronzer it's sort of settling in like an orangey tone on my skin just now but I do not know um but we'll see so you get like that sort of brush, you get this for your eyebrows, which I could use, I could make work. What else we got here? Oh, I'm keeping the little packets and stuff, shoving them in there. Um. So, oh my god, I haven't applied eyeshadow with these in like forever. Oh god. So, an eyeshadow applier. Well, I have that for, this would be for brows, but I could use that, just maybe try and cut the crease and use the shimmer colour of the eyeshadow. Um, I have no idea, that could be like a flat one for applying the glitter, and then just a, maybe a concealer, ow, that's jaggy. So that is everything I got from Poundland for the Poundland makeup video. So yeah, I am going to enjoy filming this. I think I'm going to film it after this just to pre-film again because I like being a bit prepared. Um, so yeah, right. So the next couple of things I got was when I was in the factory shop. So I got Rimmel London Lasting 25 Ever Breathable Foundation Medium Coverage and 203 True Beige. Beige. Um, I have had, had I've had a look at this. I don't know about the applier, but I think this would be a foundation if I didn't have spots. Um, I have tried it a little over my spots and it doesn't cover it so that will be one 
that I use when I don't have any, which isn't very often. Um, then I got this little high fibre brow, medium to dark. I have not tried this yet. It's got a cool little applier. So, um, again, the colour on this settles. Eventually, when it does go dark, it goes very nice. Um, it's just they are hoping it will go dark by the end of the video. So how you guys see, but for five pound to sort of tint your brows a little, then you're not really use, losing much. Um, but I haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to. Um, this one is a little collection hashtag conceal and light like a pro palette for two pound now i've actually took the highlighter out of here um, and put it into a separate little pot because i find it works better once you add a little bit of water to it and putty it because honestly from in here it wasn't working I'm trying to show you guys i've still got a little bit there like you can see is this there like honestly if you got it on a brush or anything, it wouldn't work. I mean, it's working on here, but you can't see it as well as what you see here. Or this one. But then you just have your concealers, the four here. Then your colour correctors here. So for £2, you cannot grumble. I just wanted to give it a go, add it to my makeup collection and see if it would be any use to me. Um, so as I said, I did try the foundation, so I got a W7 Power Puff. Now, these are £2. For £2, it's not that bad. It does blend it out, but it blended out a contour I did really well, which I used this little stick for here. Now, mine's just broken because I broke it. Well, I rolled it up and it broke, so... Yeah, I would invest in one of these. I got this from the factory shop. I think they're very good for blending out like a stick sort of contour colour. It was very good for in my eyes, but you all have your own opinion, so. I'm just, oh God, I'm out of focus. I can't really get proper because my bed's here, guys. So you can use it as a lovely like contour colour. You get lighter ones, I just didn't notice. So I'm going to go back into um, factory shop and get myself a lighter one because I really like the t sort of feel of it. Even with your fingers it blends out so well and I mean not many stick concealers do do that. So yeah. So. Uh, I got this from the factory shop. Um, which was three pound. I'm looking at my receipt just now. Um, yeah, the power puff was two pound. The palette was two. The foundation six. That was a separate receipt because my mum bought me that. Um, I bought like my own stuff. She bought her stuff, so I don't actually know. But this is I've so got this. This is for when I go to LA. I love it, it's just literally lined paper, but I love the little polka dot design, and I've so got this. And for £3, you cannot grumble for a notepad. And then I got another one, um, which is also lined, but it's a little bit bigger. Um, it is the MD A4 hardback book with the, like, the little galaxy feature thing here. Um, and it's got just focus on it for £5, and it's a hardback, so that is even better. So yeah, I really just got them for like YouTube things and writing a lot of stuff down because I do use my phone, but you know, oh, goodie bag. So we have a super drug along with some boot stuff. We have primer. I had to put my bag in a bag because it was ripping. And I don't know if you guys know what savers is, but we'll start off with savers. Um, and we'll go from there. 
Okay, so save ours as like. Oh, uh, hold on, guys. I also got this BB cream and medium from the factory shop as well. Um, I have not had a chance to try this, but I really want to. So let me know in the comments if you want a video on this, or if you've tried it and it's a good product, let me know. Um, that was actually only four pounds on a little sale thing, so I just grabbed it. So, soft and pure cotton wool pads. As you guys know, I do go through a lot of these, so I got two of these for one twenty nine. So that's two hundred pads for one twenty nine, which is a really good deal because in super drug and everything you were only getting like half the size of that for the one eighty nine. So super drug you haven't really got a good deal on just that one these. So do your two bigger ones off these, like they were so much taller than this. I think you got hundred and fifty in each pack for two pounds. Do that again because I will buy a lot of them in. Um I'm sort of just reading off my receipt, all the prices to you guys. Out of the lot, cause, um, you know. Uh, so I've been raving to you guys about these wipes for a few videos now. The 3-in-1 Makeup Removal Wipes. Perfect for removing makeup, cleansing, toning and gently hydrating them to leave your skin feeling smooth, refreshed and radiant. So these are the... I hope I picked up the right ones. I think I have, but I actually don't know. No, I haven't. The other ones I had had real tree in them, real tree oil, but these will do just as well. Oh well, I'm trying new stuff, so it's fine. Um, you get three packets for ninety nine pence, so that's very good. But these are meant to be good as well. Um. I just picked up the wrong ones, so I'm a bit gutted about that, but I can make do. I just hope they don't make my skin come out in a rash like the other ones. So then, as you guys know, my hair's now blonde, so I get a special shampoo called Provoke Professional Hair Care Touch of Silver for Blonde, Platinum or White Hair Brightening Shampoo. Toning, Violet Pigment. Neutralizes, brasses, and brightens color in one wash. Now, this was $1.99. Yeah, $1.99. Normally, it's like £4, whatever. So, hence why I go to Savers because you get such so many good bargains. And literally, I love a good bargain, <laughs> like, honestly. And then. These are sight exciting. So these are true professional London brushes. Look how cool they are. Um this one was three nine nine because um it's a blusher brush. It's a bit bigger than the other ones I got. It's cool, I love it. Look at that. I love this little colour here. I hope when I wash it any colour doesn't come out, if that makes sense. Oh god, is some pile already here? Oh god. So we have an eyeliner brush. As you guys know, I've used that either to cut a crease or my eyebrows. But this was 169 for a cool brush like that. You cannot grumble. Compared to what you would pay for Spectrum, sort of at the same sort of holographics as that. And then I got a uh, eyeshadow brush which was one ninety nine. Yeah, not all the brushes are the same price. You have other brushes which I'm going to get. Um, there's a blush, no powder. Um, foundation brush, all that stuff. I will get them. I just. 
I tried spent enough. And then obviously a carrier bag and that all came to eleven ninety nine. It's just crazy just for that, but it was not bad. Um I'm going to go where Oh god, this is quite a lot in this bag actually. So Primark had reduced a lot of their products for some reason. Um, this wasn't reduced, but I saw Steph Tom's ra like rave about this in her Primark makeup video, and I really wanted to give it a go. And obviously, this is like my Primark testing video as well. So yeah, so this is the PS Primer Water, which um, preps skin for makeup application, hydrates and refreshes, silicone free, alcohol free and oil free. You get 150ml for £2. Well this is in like euros, so I don't actually know. I have no idea how you get this off. Um, I will give it a spray just now. Oh, I like it. I would purchase this for only two pounds. You cannot crumble, guys. So I got a lot of things that I've wanted from Primark for a while because they were reduced. Or the fact is I went in and they actually have them this time. Um, so another primer I got was the Radiant Primer Illumin Illuminating Skin Primer at £3. I just wanted to give it a go. I honestly have never seen this in Primark before. Um, so yeah. I um, then got there. That's not the foundation. I then got the PS My Perfect Color Perfect Finish Foundation, medium coverage, semi matte finish, um, and it's cool sand. I literally got the lightest color they sort of had. The other colors looked a bit too dark for me, so hopefully this works. And this was only two fifty, so if it works really well, then you know. It's a bargain. Um, then I got my Perfect Color Liquid Concealer for two pound, but again in cool sand because I wanted like a light color, but I honestly do not know. I'm gonna try this. This is gonna be quite a long video. Half an hour already. I cannot get into this. Oh great, this is all I need. Oh god. Right, okay. Oh, I don't know. As you guys can see. I can make it work. Um, so yeah, £2, you can't really grumble. Ah, and it blends out with your fingers very nice as well. So, you know, we have options here. Okay, so I will try and get through all the makeup -y stuff first. I wanted to get brushes, guys. I really did. But they were just so expensive for what you were getting in them just now. And honestly, I was really shocked at how expensive Primark have actually priced their brushes because honestly they are for what you get in the packets they're not worth it so yeah um the next thing I got was well I got a couple of contouring kits here just because these two were reduced because they're not redoing these again the women said so this is the Master Contour Palette. So this is cream foundation, setting powder, and a highlighter. So, 
um, you have so your f your foundation. No. So these are sort of contoury colours, brightening cream, brightening powder, somewhere, all that stuff. It's all in the back here. And it was £6 down to £3. So again, I cannot wait to try that. I hope really it's you. Yeah. Oh. Then I got this one, which was also £6 down to £3. I love how it's got the mirror at the side. Not that it's got a very good mirror, but you have cream foundation, blusher, highlighter. Yeah. Then I got this cool PS Pure contact. Contour palette. Now look how cool this is. I want you guys to really take this in. Oh, what? So I'm going to try and get into it so I can swatch the highlighter. Without trying to break the palette. This was £4. Oh, and then you've got this on top. Wow. So, you have your three highlighters, so highlighter one, highlighter two, highlighter three, and then your sculpt. So, let's get testing. Okay, so, we're going to go for highlighter one, the big one. Wow, it's not really, I've had to sort of run my finger around just to pick it up. Okay, so that's very subtle. What is my hand doing? It's very subtle. Once the light hits it, it pops. Whoa. So I could work with that. Now we have the light pinky toned one here. Wow. I think these are ones that are only... Oh, so that's like very subtle. I'm hoping this one here pulls through. It could pull through. Ooh, -hoo. yeah. Ooh. So, what's this sculpt like? I do not want something, wow, it doesn't really show up on skin. I've literally swatched it here. Watch this, okay. So this is a swatched on my hand and then go. You can virtually not see that compared to the highlighters are better. So Primark, you've let me down on the sculpt because I'm really looking forward to that, but we'll see. Then I got the chocolate contour and eyeshadow palette, which was £6 down to £3. I dropped this, and now I've just got it all over my carpet. Lovely. So, you guys, you know, the colours. I've seen a lot of people rave about this. And I really don't want to open it, because it's, it, it's made a mess on my carpet. But I... Eyeshadows from Primark have been the best I've tried in a while. <sighs> Look what I did to the little love heart one. No, hold on, guys. I'm literally just going to try and salvage my carpet. Just because it's, like, pink. And I do not want it to get pushed in, even though it has done... My mum's going to kill me. Uh, oh. I'm going to just show you guys. Look. 
I'm gonna have to get a cloth or something. Wipes, wipes. Bear with me, guys. These were the wipes I made to pick up. Really? Oh, I've literally stained this carpet so much already. Oh my god, I think this is making it worse. I honestly do not know. Sorry about this, guys. Oh my god. Why did I get a grey carpet? I'm going to have to get a little carpet cleaner in here. Literally. I don't know why I didn't open it flat. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how much I've got off of it. It's not too bad now. Not too bad. Okay, so. Right. We have melted. I'm going to try and show you guys. So we have melted. Fondant martini. Like good, dusted. I do not know what this is. Kisses, vanilla, dream, and cocoa, and whatever this one is. So let's swatch. Ooh! Wow! This is this one that I just showed you on my arm. I think Primark can always pull through with eyeshadows. Let's see the one that broke. Oh, I like that there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing my Primark testing video now. Wow. So we actually have a contour in here as well. So, I would imagine it's, I don't know. Does it smell? No, oh, it does smell of chocolate a little. It's not like a big pull through of chocolate, like the chocolate bar palette that I have. Um, so yeah, and then I got the cheek palette, let's see. I can get this open. I'm actually trying to use a little chaggy end of my brush. Oh, there we go. Okay, what have we got in here? It's all blushers. I just maybe thought there would have been a highlight, maybe. So, wow, I, it took me ages in Primark to find one that hadn't been opened. I do not like that blush. Oh God, you guys can't see, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, I'm so tired. I've had five hours sleep if that. And honestly, I'm not exactly coping with it. I'm literally like so tired. The other, the super drug bag is more exciting. Unless you really love Primark that much that you you always get excited, but you know. So I'm gonna just swatch this one up here for you guys first. Ooh, showed up better there. Um, now this one, you could really use that as a highlight to be fair. Yeah. Oh, that is a highlight, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a cheek palette. Cheek. So I'm going in with this one here. Wow! I don't know if these blushes will be for me, but I will certainly give them a go. And the last one. Oh, where is it? 
it's very neutral natural I would buy this again for four pounds they are pigmented and um, what else did I get from Primark I got where is it so they have a new range of PS matte lipsticks for 150 I really wanted this one so I got it I will tell you guys how much I was in Primark in a second Ow. Ugh. Trying to get into some of this packaging is actually unbelievable. Ooh, look at that casing. Ooh. <laughs> I don't ever think I've been so excited for. <gasps> oh my god, I am in love. And the casing feels like a matte sort of feeling. Do you know when it's on your lips and sometimes you can't really move and you feel that powder wee That's what the casing feels like. Oh! So then I got these four little mini liquid matte the lipsticks for four pound and they are the peach edit so I don't know. I will open them in the video when I do my Primark video. Then I got this other little highlight thing. I Yeah, the highlighter. Which they did have a tester in the shop, but I just literally loved the packaging, which is why I bought it for £3. I am... Ooh. Oh, look at that, guys. That is like... Oh my god. It's got pure engraved in it. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm in love with that. It reminds me of... I don't know if you can see the how they've really engraved the pure in it. Um, It's called Arctic Ice if you're in Primark. And it's only £3. And look at the packaging. It's lovely. I just, it reminds me of one of the Urban Decay ones in a Too Faced packaging one. So then I went a little bit out there. This was reduced to a pound. Again, it's another highlighter, but I actually do not have many highlighters a pound. So I wanted to pick one up that was really out there just to give it a go and to see what I really... So I don't think anything will beat the one I've just showed. Whoa. Wow, that is actually amazing. I really do like that. Um for a pound you can it's double dimension, so if you guys can see that. It's not something I would necessarily wear going out, but I would happily do like a festival look for you guys and use that. But this is the best one I've had yet. Um, and then I got mascara at £2, Lash Contour, 3D Curl, Length and the Mega Volume. So yeah, I swear by Primark's mascaras, so hopefully. Oh, and then again, I got this other highlight glow stick for a pound. It was £3, but honestly, I think this is going to have some... Oh my god, look at... Oh god, you guys can't even see that. Oh my god. Like, what is going on, Primark? Why are you bringing the game? Oh, what? I love that. But, if only it stays like a goldy colour. Well, this isn't gold, but. I wish it sort of stayed, but, you know. I actually do really like that. Oh my god, and it blends like so well. Okay, so before I I got another little eyeshadow brush. I have one of these, they're amazing. That was the only cheapest brush they had. So yeah, so, 
And I also got told to try these. The women in the shop recommended these to me. Um, so they're 30 pack eyeshadow covers. You put them right under here so no fallout goes down. But according to some people, these get really sticky. So uh, we'll see what happens. Then again, I got two other bargains, 50 pence. So Refreshing Relive Blonde Dry Shampoo. Shampooing set pore blonde tinted hair refresh spray for light and blonde hair and then as you guys can see i still have bits of brunette so so i got one of them they were originally only a pound but i got both for a pound because they're only 50 pence so that is everything from primark then i got a sleek life proof foundation medium to full coverage sweat proof oil free and this is in, I have no idea what the shade of this is, so, yeah. I, and, and I think I also got that from the baggy shop. Oh, God, right, okay. Wait a minute, because not everything is from Superdrug. I think all that, no, that is not. I picked these up in the pound shop. They're just little nail polish remover pads. They're ace uh, acetone free with vitamin E in their moisturising ones. So yeah, pick them up. Um, this was fourteen ninety nine, and I'm really scared to use it. But a lot of you guys have recommended this to me, and Boots now have it, along with Superdrug. I'm going to, I'm just going to show you guys. So, Bondi Sands, the Australian tan, self tan and foam, dark, season quality, coconut scented, Australian made. Uh, it's for an even streak free tan, ensure your skin is clean, exfoliated and free of any moisture. Pump foam, pump foam applicator firmly and apply body self tan. To a tan and mitt before using a long sweeping motion to legs, arms, and body. Use remaining residue on tan and mitt for face, elbows, and knees. I am not tanning my face. If I do use this, skin may be washed after one hour for a long lasting darker tan. Leave foam on skin up to six hours. Shower with warm water, gently pat skin dry for deep tan. Reapply bond self tea. Self tan after 30 minutes after initial application. There was so much of loads of different things in there, so I am going to build up a collection of this, even if I don't really use it. If you guys have this, please leave a comment down below what you think because I have never used self tan and I bought quite an expensive one for the first time, so I don't know let me know but I know this is the best but I'm very scared to use it and then also in boots I got a NYX no sleek matte me and birthday suit so love the applicator love the colour and we'll just wait for it to dry hold on guys I don't know why I do this. Ew. Two seconds. I'm going to lock this so I do not get any product in my mouth. Right, now unscrew it a little. Oh, God. Right. But I love the little packaging. Like, I just love that. Okay, so now this is all super drug. I was £54 in super drug. This is crazy. But I got finally the Soph does Soph nails palettes. She has two. If that's right, comment down below. If I've missed any, I'm sorry, Soph. I love the packaging. <gasps> Look at that big mirror. Oh God, it's dropped it. Oh my God. 
Okay, I need room to swatch these. Two seconds, guys. I'm just, I'll clear my hand. Oh, I've just cleaned. Oh, no, I've not. Never mind, guys. Never mind. Um, I'm actually going to be filming uh, the Poundland video after this. So, yeah. The only thing is, I'm scared of how pigmented these are meant to be. <gasps> oh my days, these. Whoa. Ellie, son, oh my god, so far have you done? <gasps> oh my god, I love so does nails videos like in her palettes have just topped this what the hell I don't know if I would really use the greens but that's okay I'm sure I could create something with them look at that guys for £10 oh what is cookie dough like oh my god cheesecake as well oh my god that is cookie dough up here. Let's get cheesecake. Oh, what? Toph, I love you. Thank you so much for creating this palette. Um, I love this palette. Let's get this one. Probably. And I like how it tells you everything on the back of what you're sort of getting because obviously some palettes do not do that so yeah i have no idea how the hell do i have my yeah i spent a lot on super drug <laughs> like literally i hope these aren't the same i don't think they are Someone says me they are very similar, but from the colours, I think, maybe not. I think this is her very first palette, I'm not sure. Oh, wow. Okay. No, they're not. They're all different. Okay, so to know what they are, I'm going to actually keep this little thing because they have all the names on them and again it has a big mirror i would like it if the names were like engraved on the palette as like the other one but that's okay so i'm just gonna set it there and i'm actually just gonna go here and we're gonna take mixed berries here which is this purple now i'm not usually one for purple so you guys know that <gasps> what that is amazing but the thing is do they blend out good like i'm sure they will i'm gonna go in with this little pink champagne color here um i'm going to buy these again Wow, so if you have outdone this, I love these. I probably know you will not watch this, but you know. But yeah, love them. Again, I just wish the names were engraved, but you can have everything. And then I just stocked up on two of my masks. They didn't have any other ones, otherwise, I would have bought more. No, I'm joking. I got the... I've had this one before. Um, I think I've had the other one. I actually do not know. Uh, okay, so... Moist Balm Tissue Mask. Super Hydrating. Revitalizing Mask. This is very good. Um, these are Garnier Skincare, guys. No, this is a new one. I haven't had this. So 
this is a moisture bomb, super hydrating, soothing mask. 15 minutes. So cool. Then I got some Be Clean Sparkling Cleanser, Sparkling Water Cleanser, Double Cleanse for Refresh Clean Skin. For all skin types. I love how the bubbles just sort of sit in the and then I got some micellar water again for 89 pence I'm sure this was yeah 89 pence just for this that is a good bargain in my eyes so then I got a 3 for 2 you're getting 3 for 2 on these sort of Soella products 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 so I got the body pudding body cream I cannot wait to try these like these are her new range if I'm sure so this is quench me body sorbet I'm going to get the makeup bag I saw the makeup bag and I was like do I buy it do I not um like I c I couldn't decide and then I just sort of saw uh oh lip oil Oh my god, Zoella! You have really outdone this. Look at that little applicator. I love that. Ooh. This is amazing. On your lips, like. Ooh, thank you so much for bringing these out, Zoella! Oh god, I'm running out of room on my bed. Three more things, guys, and then unfortunately that is it for this haul. Um, I got the Long Lasting Relief for Dry Chapped Lips. So it's the Carmex Moisturising Lip Balm. It soothes, it releases, and it moisturises. So, 2.15, and that was on offer. Um... I also got the Revolution Bacon Finish Luxury Bacon Powder, so yeah, five pounds for this. And then I got this is a new shade from Collection Last and Perfection, extra fair. So I'm hoping it was lighter than my other one, so it can really brighten under my eyes. I actually think it is. Um. So yeah, okay guys, that is everything. I'm just gonna show you a highlight of what my bed looks like. Yeah, it's all just sort of lying there. Just, I need to go and put it all away. Like I say, said, these are long videos, my hauls. They always will be because when I do go out and buy stuff, I buy it sort of a bunch at a time because I don't like having to buy stuff, run out and then have to go out buy it again but yeah as you can see I've had very good day shopping but then they didn't have my Urban Decay palette in pair 5 for some reason I thought there was um, an Urban Decay stand in Devonons in Perth comment down below, did there used to be if not then I must be wrong um, but I'm sure there was. Um, but anyway, I'm going in on to Dundee on Thursday. So there'll be a little mini haul thing on here for what I get on Thursday. Um, it won't be as much as this, I don't think. Or it could be, I do not know. But yeah. And I'm going to be buying four more of these. So that's £40. And I'm going to be doing a proper giveaway and you guys will hear further about that soon either here on youtube or on my snapchat or my instagram um the giveaway um is going well i'm getting one of each so there'll be one of these up for grabs guys and one of these but the other two i'm not too sure whether I'm going to put them in the giveaway because I really want to give a family member one. So, yeah, I will let you guys update. If I choose just to give her one, then there'll be two of these or two of these up for grabs. But, yeah. 
that's it guys i'm away to oh god that was really loud <laughs> um i'm away to go and fill up my poundland video for you guys now so i will see you guys in the next video which will be the poundland bye love you guys and i'll see you guys real soon this is gonna have a long this is mad i'm ending it bye love you guys see you soon